What stories come to mind when you think of the Middle Ages? King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table? How about Beowulf? Or maybe Chaucer's Canterbury Tales? Would you be surprised if I told you that one of the most prevalent genres in the medieval Christian world was actually stories about saints? Saints' lives, a genre known collectively as hagiography or hagiography, are a diverse set of narratives that can inform us about medieval people's values and anxieties. They tell of women, men, and even children who go on journeys, encounter monsters and mystical beings, undergo harrowing trials, and often pay the ultimate price for their beliefs. I find the legend of St. Eustace, a fictional Roman general, particularly fascinating. The most iconic episode of his story involves a hunting trip gone unexpectedly awry. Eustace pursues a majestic stag deep into the woods, only to discover that it's actually Jesus Christ in disguise. Christ convinces Eustace and his family to convert to Christianity, a choice which leads to various mishaps and adventures culminating in martyrdom. Like Eustace's transformative encounter with the stag, my project explores moments of metamorphosis, the legend's translocation to new places, its transposition into new forms, and its translation into new languages. Each transformation reveals how local audiences related to the story. For example, it appears to have been utilized by the popes in early medieval Rome, to serve as political and spiritual propaganda during a time of acute conflict with the Eastern Roman emperors. Like certain other popular saints' lives, the story of St. Eustace is notable for its geographical spread. Few works of literature circulated as widely during the Middle Ages, as can be seen in my map of its diffusion throughout the medieval world. Translated into numerous languages, spanning three continents, by today's standards, it would be considered an international bestseller. This scale is something that can and should be leveraged. As the field of medieval studies seeks to expand its purview to encompass global perspectives, hagiography is ideally situated to contribute to this initiative by providing threads of unity between diverse places, cultures, and traditions. The study of this global literary network therefore represents a prime opportunity to evolve the scope and the purpose of our discipline beyond its historical focus on Western Europe. Ultimately, like all good stories, hagiography hey, forces us to confront what it means to be human and what is worth living or even dying for. We may not always agree with what we find, but it would be a mistake to overlook a genre that offers so much potential to explore the values and beliefs of those who have come before. <laughs>